Hello YouTube friends. What we got here is a bathroom radiator that's been leaking for quite a while by the look of it. So we have availed ourselves of a radiator from Screwfix and we're going to see if we can swap those over today. So we are going to drain the system and remove the valves. Now, luckily for us, the guys who put this central heating in have um, provided two drain-off cocks to the exterior of the building. So what we're going to do is put a bit of hose on those and uh, let the system drain down, having turned off the boiler, of course. So turn the boiler off and drain the system down. The taps for pressurising the system are both in the off position so uh, there should be no fresh water getting into the system as we drain it off. So we've opened the radiators and we're opening the uh, bleed screws. You can hear that sucking. Right, we've drained the system down, we've uh, loosened the valves, both sides, and now we're going to unscrew the radiator off the wall. When we've uh, released these brackets, obviously the radiator's going to be just uh, balancing on these pipes basically, so I'm going to have to grab it and uh, obviously also there's usually going to be some black water in there which you have to be ready for so a bit of uh, green towel on that side a bit of purple towel on this side and uh, something to drain into to get the last dregs out uh, you don't want that black stuff on your carpet because trust me you never get it out these are our new valves from uh, screw fix and um, to be perfectly honest, I have no idea whether the thicker end goes like this. This bit obviously goes into the rad, so that would be that way up. But you see the radiator's thick, the valve's thicker here. I do not have a clue which way around that goes. There's no arrows on anything, so we're going to just have to take a stab at it, I'm afraid. Right, so we're going to put some PTFE tape on this um, on this uh, thread. Now, the tape goes on in a clockwise manner when you have the nut facing you. So you just come around that way. Now because this goes a long way into the uh, radiator, I'm going to give it about 10 goes around. Which feels like a lot. Feels like a lot, but uh, we'll see. should just about do it. So when you push that thread into the housing, the tape doesn't start folding back on itself. Now 
Now, let's see what we've got in the way of the spanners. Now, yeah, well, you can use your adjustable, but if you happen to have the right thing, which is 5 eighths in this case, then that might be just as easy to do. You'll feel it tightening up and you just don't go nuts. It's not a test of strength. You can feel it getting a proper good bite in there. I think. Mm. I would say that's in there now. Now this uh, screw fix ladder comes with uh, two plugs, one with the um, lead valve, the other one's just a blank. So these go in the top holes of the of your uh, new radiator they don't apparently need any ptfe tape because they have a nice rubber o-ring on there i i was hoping we would be able to use these old uh, fittings but in the end i've changed my mind because the um the valve uh, area was all getting a little bit too tight so I'm afraid we're gonna have to move everything up just a smidge so obviously you're going to use your um, spirit level to make sure your land is up straight and then we're going to mark the new holes drill out your holes use the plugs that are supplied Screw your fittings onto the wall. Some people like to uh, go without uh, any uh, boss white on their brass olives. Personally, I don't think it does any harm to have a tiny smear of um, boss white. So. That's what we're going to do, just a tiny smear right just on that shoulder in there. Uh, if you wanted to, you could just put a tiny smear around here like this. Leave a comment guys if you want to tell me I'm doing it wrong, because even though I'm an ancient old geezer now, I'm still happy enough to get new information. I am a DIYer after all. Not an expert of 30 years knowledge. Obviously, you don't want to get it all over your nice shiny stuff. Um, same on this side, just a little tiny smear on that shoulder. And a little bit on the inside. Of that shoulder there. And you could just help the olive, a little bit of lubrication on the olive and it'll just bite up nicely. That's the boss white. Take it or leave it. Get your ladder up onto the wall and uh, Connect all these plastic chrome fittings together. It's quite a lot of adjustment on these things if uh, you haven't got everything exactly perfect. And we're going to put a self tapper through here in a minute, which will secure everything together. I'm just trying to get a feel for it at the moment to see if we've got everything roughly in the right place. You can see where I've put the self-tapper. It's uh, not pretty, but um, 
it's the access. So um, hopefully the uh, customers will be too busy looking at the shiny stuff, not where the position of the self-tapping screw is. All that leaves now is to tighten up the back nuts of the valve. Now you could leave it this way or have it that orientation there to save the uh, uh, customer banging her ankle on it every time she walks past, which would probably not be a good thing. So we will have it that way, I think. So using the big old monkey spanners on it in opposing directions. Should be on there. Right, that's everything back together. I've taken the precaution of adding some of this inhibitor. I managed to squeeze it into one of the uh, radiators in another room. Um, I've closed all the bleed valves off and we are now going to let some water flow through the system and just see, uh, see how good it all is. let that fill up. Thanks for watching everyone, hope you found that moderately interesting and informative. Uh, what we've done is replaced a fairly crappy uh, ladder radiator which was only five years old but leaking. We've replaced it with a screw fix one, a bliss. Um, if you want to leave some comments and tell me where I went wrong guys, uh, always happy to learn something more. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, that'd be good. You'll be able to keep up to date on what other mad DIY jobs we do.